Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And this little box shows two pounds, eight ounces of jewelry, um, three uh, sets that I purchased uh, in Cindy Levin's auction from Cindy Loves Jewelry uh, a couple of weeks ago, and then a two pound plus bag, heavy bag of a mystery lot that uh, was the last item that Cindy auctioned um, that evening. And so let's go through, first of all, the individual pieces that I bid on in one, and then we'll look at the mystery lot. Cindy, uh, I put her contact information uh, in the description for the video. She has great auctions. She has great... Uh, um, YouTube videos uh, about jewelry, about thrifting. Um, so there's lots of great information that uh, you can get uh, if you subscribe to Cindy. Um, uh, one of the uh, great pieces or sets that I won in the auction was this Sarah Coventry gift uh, to uh, uh, Sarah Coventry Party Hostess and this is a necklace and pair of earrings it's called White Charmer and I've started collecting or I've started focusing my collecting on Sarah Coventry um, especially on Sarah Coventry Canadian pieces this is this is a particular Canadian piece but it's a lovely piece this nice long white plastic necklace let me sort of hang it up here. And it's got this great gold tone flower on it, as well as two removable dangles. So this is a multi-wear piece. You can move this flower around. I'm not going to do it on video. Basically, the beads clip onto the back just like they do for a bolo. They don't slide through, but they actually clip in there. So you can unclip them and move the flower higher on the necklace or take it right off the necklace altogether. Um, you can also take off each of the dangles. They're on with, um, they have spring rings. One is, uh, one just hooks into the spring ring and one has a spring ring of its own. So when you take off this one, this becomes the connector of the necklace and connects in over here. So a very versatile design. Um, and I'm not sure if I can do this on the video, put it back together. There we go. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna be very gentle and not try to take the bolo part apart yet because I don't want to break it. Anyway, beautiful necklace and of course beautiful matching earrings. Okay, so uh, here are the um, earrings, a nice texture gold flat disc that shows at the ear, and then these hanging nice white balls. So white uh, earrings, white necklace, uh, a versatile necklace. Uh, I like white. I like wearing it um, appropriate times of the year um, or with the appropriate outfit. And I'm extra excited that this is a Sarah Coventry set uh, to add to my small but growing collection. I'm just going to leave that there. And the other two sets that I purchased, one uh, is also a named set. Let me just take it out of the bag. This is an Avon set. Um, you can see it's, oh, I don't know if I could focus that, marked Avon on the back of the necklace, and it is a gold tone necklace with a spring ring clasp, and, oh, let's put it this way, there we go. The necklace is a heart shape with a uh, amber colored faceted marquee stone, so quite, uh, quite a nice design, quite wearable. And then the earrings are post-back earrings. 
uh, with the same design marquee stone and the same color. So gold tone earrings um, and then the amber colored stone. Lovely little wearable set, a bit older because of the uh, spring ring clasp. Um, I have a bunch of Avon pieces. Um, so I, while I'm not specifically collecting them, um, when a nice set comes up and it's a good price in auction, I'll bid on it. The last set that I purchased um, as an individual item is a pair of screwback earrings uh, with a pin. Now the earrings are marked 14 karat gold filled. Um, the pin isn't. Uh, there, e the earrings are textured leaves with uh, little faux pearls, nice spring back, uh, uh, sorry, uh, screw back, and uh, no other marks um, beside the, uh, well, there might be, I don't know, it might be another little sort of mark, but lovely little earrings, anyway, very wearable. Fine screw back earrings are always wear very wearable, comfortable. And then this lovely figural leaf with pearls. You can see it doesn't match exactly, but it sure does it sure looks good together. But as I said, the pin's not marked, but it's beautiful gold tone, beautiful texture, um, a nice uh, beautiful texture on the back. Again, it's not marked. Um, but a lovely set, and I'd be happy to wear them. So those are the um, three individual items I purchased, and I'll be right back with the mystery lot. Hello, and I'm back with the mystery lot from Cindy Loves Jewelry. Let's dive in and see what we got. So first of all, in this little package, there's a pair of earrings. These are post earrings in uh, silver tone, black and cream. Nice, uh, very wearable style. And oh, they are marked on the back. Um, it's the mark for premier designs. So very nice set of earrings to start off the mystery lot. And we have a piece of jewelry with a dangle and oh a little, here's a little tiny tag, <laughs> not sure you can even read it, let me put it, pull it away slightly, it says Avon, if you can't read it you'll have to believe me. So this is a very short necklace. Um, but four colors of green plastic beads, nice lightweight, nice, uh, actually looks like an extender chain because there's a uh, spring ring here and a, a lobster claw hook there. So nice wearable uh, necklace, excellent condition. I actually wear these colors of greens. So, uh, yeah, that one's right up my alley. Oh, here's a bangle. This is uh, unusual. Um, it's plastic, looks almost marbled in terms of the coloring, and then it has a, a, a little dot, beaded uh, or dotted metal inlay here and then around in this eye shape, and all these red rhinestones. As I turn it around, let's see. There's no missing rhinestones. The, the, the bracelet's a little thinner right here and thicker on this side, but very wearable, quite nice. I've never seen any, a bracelet like this, never seen that design. Here's another bracelet, I guess a cuff bracelet. It's silver tone with, um, I'm going to say Oh, abalone under there. It's too blue for regular abalone and covered in resin. Um, 
and it, this is uh, sort of a southwestern design bracelet or cuff. It's got thunderbird, arrows, lightning, stamped in the side. Um, but uh, no maker's mark. Um, again, lovely little bracelet. Looks good on. So far, some great pieces. Um, oh, I see some interesting beads coming. Here's a, a, a bangle. A little a different bangle than what you usually see. This one's got a flexible mesh bracelet in the channel. And there's a nice little uh, flower joining the ends there. So well put together. Very lightweight. Um, not marked. Not, I mean, not super expensive. Uh, you know, Not really high quality, but a nice design. Usually you see these channel bracelets and you can put your your hair uh, tie, you know, your hair elastic in there to store it. Um, I think this is a much nicer design. Um, so it's, it, it wobbles a little bit in there. I don't think it's going to fall out. So that's an unusual bangle. And here, oh, nice modern necklace. Look at this, the antiqued bronze. Lobster claw clasp with a nice uh, extension if you need to, to wear the necklace any longer. If you, I gotta, I gotta roll it up into sort of four pieces just to get it all in the camera there. Um, so an oval chain with uh, different kinds of stations. So here's a plastic bead station. Uh, yeah, plastic, a uh, hollow metal bead. A nice uh, four-leaf clover, another plastic bead, another faceted plastic bead, uh, a metal bead on this side, a round metal bead with wood, and uh, uh, that one looks like glass, um, another uh, a metal oval, a two-part metal bead, and we're back to where we started. So that's a nice modern necklace. Um, and unusual, I'm going to sort of put it there so you can see it, unusual uh, um, stations, I would definitely wear that. I'm going to move this off to the side like that, and then I somebody better see that there. Next item here is this pair of uh, silver tone earrings. Um, the bag looks like it says 9 to 5. Um, I don't know. I don't see any markings on the earrings, so I don't know if they would be silver. I, At first glance, I didn't think they were silver, but there's some abalone shell, and uh, some abalone, and some shell, and some little gray faux pearls on the on the earrings so I'm not sure um, I'll have to uh, ask Cindy if she tested them but uh, lovely little earrings I think they would have nice movement when you're wearing them you know from side to side so very pretty little earrings if they're silver that's a bonus um, here's a, a bracelet this is different. This is um, mesh metal in uh, silver, gray, and black braided together. Um, lobster claw clasp. Little dangle at the end, but I don't, I don't see any maker's mark. Um, looks quite nice on. Good length. I just these little these caps at the end are kind of big, chunky, and there's glue. Um, I think this would look more sophisticated if these were a flat, uh, rectangular or square cap. Not that I'm going to change the bracelet. Uh, I'm not going to go to that expense. But, um, yeah, if I were to make one like this, that's how I would improve it. But a, a, a nice looking bracelet just for these big chunky clasps. Um, Oh, here's a little delicate bracelet. 
It's got a nice sort of garnet colored uh, rhinestone in the center here. And all this silvery colored stuff is just um, just textured metal. It's not rhinestones. Looks like rhinestones, but it's not. Nice uh, flat herringbone uh, chain. Hold over clasp. No, uh, no maker's mark, but uh, nice delicate little bracelet. That would look very pretty on. Here's another bag. This bag says Leo Sevilla. I'm not sure what the significance of the six is, but um, here's the uh, Leo Sophia tag. Get it up there. Lobster claw clasp. It's quite small. Um, three. Uh, uh, wire, uh, so plastic coated wire strands for of an illusion necklace, but this one center strand is kind of misshapen. I don't know if it could be heated and brought back to shape. Um, that's one of the challenges of uh, of these illusion necklaces. It's also got a bend over here. Usually better quality um, wire if it's if you get a 49 or a 19 strand wire, it tends not to bend like that, but the 7 strand coated wire does. Um, but it also depends on how much this has been traveled around and packaged and so on. So it's um, a nice wearable, uh, if it were straightened out, necklace. Um, I could easily make one of those. Um, so. I'm not as impressed with that. Um, excuse me for a second while I get out this pair of earrings. These are uh, beautiful color. These are a modern um, set of fish hook earrings. This a lovely coral color, brighter coral than uh, or brighter orange than they show up on the video. And uh, lightweight uh, faceted plastic beads. I think you'd get a lot of movement. I think the center one would move the opposite direction when you were wearing them. Um, too big for me to wear. Um, they practically reach my shoulders. I'm not very tall. Um, but on the right person, I think these would be great, whoops, great earrings. Oh, here's a pretty little bracelet. This is um, just, uh, it's kind of in the style of uh, the Alex and Annie bracelets. Um, but uh, different, just uh, three little charms. This part is quite wide usually, and it just opens up like this. So easy to get on. You could add more charms to it. But it has a nice selection of charms. It says, I love you to the moon. And then it has a moon with a heart and a little, just a little bead, a little plastic bead. Um, nice, bright, shiny. It might be rhodium plated, I don't know. Um, or just never been worn. So there's a pretty bracelet I'll hang on to probably for my granddaughter. Ooh. Whoops, have I got, let's see if I can get this. Color and sound. Look at this uh, round shell, pink shell, pink dyed shell necklace with gold textured discs behind it for um, contrast and color. So this is a nice bib necklace. Um, lobster claw clasp, no, no maker's mark. Nice chain in the background so all, it would lay, lay very nicely because it's all nice and smooth. At this one, which is on the wrong side, but we'll, I'm not sure we'll worry about that. Um, yeah, very, uh, very wearable necklace, uh, pretty color. Um, not my style, but it's not, not heavy, so I think it uh, be enjoyable to wear. Ooh, something bright and colorful. Oh, it's a stretchy ring. Look at this. Oh, I love this. Look at the beautiful yellow color. Rhinestones in the center. 
uh, gold tone on the edges and on the back, and just a stretchy, a nice stretchy ring. That would be lots of lots of fun to wear. I might, I might keep that. This is huge. This is noisy. This is long. I don't know. Here, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way to see if we can lay this out. Um, definitely a statement necklace. Not uh, the bright colors that you usually see. Uh, more of a, a beigey gray and a pinky gray color. Very long. Um, it's got a very long chain and it's a very long necklace. On me, it would hang below my boobs, so I don't think I'd be wearing this. Um, I like to say boobs on a YouTube video. Um, but there's the beads. They're, they're quite nice, but just way too long for me. I could see taking this section, this section, this section off and I could potentially wear it. I would just put a little, do what they've done here and put one of these um, round beads on that the part there and then I could wear it. I don't think I want to go to all that work, but well, you know, who knows, who knows. Let's move on. Ooh, well this is different. I've never seen a cuff with a hinge layer like that, like right there. Like usually they're hinged, I don't know, on both sides if it's a watch cuff. I guess it would just totally detract from the center if it was um, had the, the hinge in the middle there. Like, I don't need the hinge. I can get it off and on without the hinge. I guess if you had a, if you wanted to put it up your arm here and get it off and on, you need the the hinge, but maybe it's meant for someone with larger wrists than I have. It's nice design, bright, uh, bright, good shape. I don't see any maker's marks. There's like just like a little circle here, though. I don't know. Almost looks like there's a rhinestone in there. This, is that a, if there's a rhinestone in there, is that a, a maker's mark that I don't know about? It could be right there, a little rhinestone. Does that look like a rhinestone? I'll have to check that out. Make a note about that so I don't forget it. Ooh, I like this. Okay. Here's um, a shorter necklace. Uh, a couple of leaves, a rose. Um, turqu faux turquoise uh, plastic, but that's very wearable. I like that. Um, lobster claw clasp, no maker's mark, um, no marks on the back for, for identifying it. Well, there you go. I, I like that. I would wear this. I have some real turquoise earrings, so I would just... Uh, Go with the flow with that. Wear the wear that necklace. I like that. Well, this is interesting. Here's a nice cuff. It's kind of big on me. I'd have to reshape it. Uh, it's too too big to. I would lose it down there. I think just sort of slides in and off. It's um it's shiny. I mean, it looks handmade, but I don't know if it is. It looks like it was braided and hammered. It's got in, that inconsistency. Um, no silver mark. So I'm going to assume it's alpaca since it's so nice and shiny. Um, That's a mystery piece. I'll have to ask Cindy if she knows. Oh, another necklace. This has got a nice uh, spring ring, twisted rope chain, so it's a bit uh, older than some of the necklaces we've seen. Um, two oval rings and then hammered 
circles of various sizes. I don't know, does, does it go this way so that the little rings are at the front, or does it matter? There's the little rings at the back. Um, that I would probably wear. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. It's a little fold over bracelet, uh, fold over clasp bracelet with the uh, turtles. There's their heads, and there's their backs, and even though that one looks like abalone, I don't think it really is. I think it's just colored plastic. That one's kind of orangey, that one's kind of green, that one's blue, that one's pinky. That, one, that one looks more like abalone. Um, I would say this is just a modern piece, something you might get at Claire's. It says S, um, S80, S-80 on the clasp. Does that mean anything to anybody? I have a granddaughter who would wear that. If it's too big for her, it would be pretty straightforward to uh, take out a turtle because they're just clipped with, uh, with jump rings. Okay. Ooh, well, this is cool. This looks modern. Oh, let's see. It's got a... Oh, okay. So there's a T for Talbots. Nice... Uh... What's going on here? Oh, okay. So nice twisted, heavy uh, gunmetal colored chain. And then the pendant is just these two, uh, a silver and a gunmetal oval. So quite nice, and and uh, you could actually just take the oval, those ovals off. It would come right off, and uh, you could wear the chain by itself. So very wearable. I I don't know if I'd wear that or not. I'd have to. I I'm sure I could find the right outfit for it. So hey, two and a half pounds of jewelry really uh, adds up to a lot of jewelry. Um, well, this is chunky. This is, uh, okay, it's got a tag on it that says Express. And it's gold tone, uh, a chunky chain with, uh, accented by a, a smaller double chain on this side, a choker, definitely. Um, lightweight metal, but definitely metal, not plastic. Uh, cold. A uh, lobster claw clasp looks in great condition. Um, oh, just a bit of tape on it there. Uh, so uh, very wearable, but uh, just not quite my style. I'm getting to the end here, I think. Well, there's still some stuff in the bag. So look at this. Right, shiny, lots of baguettes. If there were some missing, I would harvest them for other jewelry projects, but none of them are missing. This is an Anne Klein 2 watch. Very pretty. Um, I'd have to see it's... Uh, yeah, it says it's quartz. I'd have to see if it works with a battery. Um, it's nice on. Hold over clasp is a little dirty, but that could be easily cleaned. Um, so, there's a very nice watch. Didn't expect that. I like those. Oh, here's a necklace in a bag. So, this is. Oh, this is vintage. Look at this. I keep hiding it behind my hands. Sorry about that. So, a vintage uh, shaped diamond. Uh, where's some glass? Mm -hmm. I just want to... No, I don't think these are glass. I think they're plastic. They, actually, they're not cold enough to be glass. So shaped plastic diamonds with the white enameled leaves on branches between them. What a pretty little uh, choker. Gold tone chain, 
just a ball at the end, no, uh, um, no tag with a maker's mark, but let's see on the, uh, oh, it says Hong Kong on the hook. So that gives us an idea of the age. Beautiful vintage piece. I love vintage stuff. Thank you, Cindy. On the back, it looks like a lot of glue is yellowing with perhaps with age or um, a lot of sloppy glue. I wouldn't do anything about that now. I might just make sure it's clean, but because you can see there's glue all along there, there's glue on there, there's glue up on here. Um, makes me wonder if these are plastic rather than metal bits. I'd have to, I'll have to check it out. Anyway, um, I love it. Uh, very much in the style of a Coro or uh, older uh, Monet uh, choker. Nice vintage piece for me. Oh, a little cameo. Not a uh, not a shell cameo, just plastic. And then this is uh, sort of butterscotch colored resin and it doesn't even go all the way to the bottom here, but that's okay. It's a nice shape. Looks good, generally. Got a nice little pin working on the back, so no complaints there. Very wearable uh, cameo. Um, oh, okay. So here's a little lightweight metal cross with uh, an impressed design highlighted with black. And uh, simple, you know, silver tone chain, more gray. Uh, spring ring, no markings. Uh, there's something my grandson would probably wear. Can't give it all to your granddaughter. Ooh. Let's see. Right there on the back it says, oh, I never get this quite right. JJ's. So this is my first JJ's pin. Um, nice textured back. The nice strong pin construction there. Um, Pin goes left to right, so is that like a a leaf? Is it a stylized heart? Sorry, is it a leaf? Is it a heart? What is it upside down? I don't know. Um, mm. yeah, beautiful. No wear, no. Wonder how old that would be. Very nice, JJ's pin. I haven't had a JJ's before. Alrighty, let's. Uh, last couple of things out of here. Um, this is clearly marked 925, unlike that other pair of earrings. Um, yes, so in here, just above my fingernail, oh, if I tilt it the right way, which way is that? That way. It says 925. So this is a uh, a ring that needs a little polish. It's got uh, beautiful, beautiful rhinestones on the side. I wonder if those are CDs. Those are beautiful. Really sparkly. And then this um, lovely rhinestone shaped with a point. So it needs some cleaning. It'll get a little more shiny, I think, once. It's kind of dirty inside there. Um, lovely ring. I don't know why I put up my baby finger when I do this. It's, oh, because it doesn't fit on that ring finger. But it's still beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I'll have to find a finger it fits on. Oh, almost on that ring finger. I maybe have to... I like that ring. I'll just have to... There we go. Oh, if I'm going to wear it, it needs to get it to be made larger. Very pretty. Thank you, Cindy. I like that. I'll just have to adjust my fingers to fit it. Uh, whoops, wrong. I'm going to put it back in the little 925 bag so I know what's happening here. 
And a couple more necklaces in the last bag. Let's see what we have here. Here's another illusion necklace. Um, you can see the difference in the quality of the wire compared to the Leah Sophia one. Um, maybe this one hasn't had a hard life, but it's just, you know, well, it might be. It might be freshwater pearls. They're kind of not the same. They're not the same shape. They're not perfectly round. This one's very flat. This one's got some some odd spots on it. So it looks like uh, dyed freshwater pearls. I doubt those are silver, but it's really hard to tell. Um, so it's nicely made. I have no idea. It's not marked here that it's silver. I'm not going to, you know, I might see if I can shine up those little metal pieces. Um, but, yeah, look at how the it hangs so nicely. There's no bends. There's nothing going into a figure eight. It's um, better quality coated wire than the Leo Sophia one. Quite nice. And then there is this. What is this? Oh, okay. Here's a hang tag for NY. So this is an NY necklace. Just a, a wire with um, a little silver tone pendant. Pendant's not marked in any way. So, um, and neither is the clasp. So I'm going to assume it's just silver tone. Um, the, there's problems with the wire that it's on. I mean, it doesn't look misshapen, but if you feel it over here, um, it's lot, the, the wire has lost its plastic coating, so it's very rough. Um, it, you can see it's a different color. It's kind of black. So this really needs to be uh, restrung on a new wire. I don't know what NY jewelry sells for. Um, so it's probably not worth my while to do that. I could sort of save the pendant, save the findings. I mean, all it would take would be to, you know, to cut off the wire, put uh, new crimps on a new piece of wire, and restring this, but I doubt it's worth it. But it's a nice little pendant. Okay, so that's it um, for the uh, mystery box from Cindy Levin. There's one other piece that came in this as a bit of a bonus. Cindy sent a silver uh, sterling ring that has uh, a butterfly on it. Uh, I have it upstairs because I've always already been wearing it, so I don't have it to put on the video. Um, and it was one of Cindy's own rings that she... Um, that she was uh, putting in the auction and nobody um, bid on it. I don't know if we didn't want to bid on it because it was Cindy's ring or if no one thought it was the right size. I can't remember. But anyway, she threw it in and it turns out it fits me perfectly um, and I've been wearing it because it's a delightful little ring. So I may in the future put it in a video so you can see it. So that's what two plus pounds of uh, assorted jewelry looks like. Um, my favorite pieces are this faux turquoise piece, this uh, Hong Kong choker, um, this one that I will wear, the Avon piece, the, uh, I don't know, I kind of like this little bracelet, but I think I'll give this away. I don't think I'll, I'll wear it. I'll have to see... I have to ask her about these uh, earrings, whether they really are sterling. Um, and uh, oh yeah, this piece too I'll wear. So a lot of wearable pieces, um, and uh, pieces that uh, I can give to other people. I might I might wear this. Isn't this fun? Like it's so nice. Such a nice color. It's so sunny. Um, I think on a on a dull winter day or a dull fall day. I would slip this on and just say, hey, here's my little bit of sunshine. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos of jewelry from Pat Hood Passions and Pastimes.